Now we're waiting to see which new representatives will lead each region. We connect to our Kim Mogyeon, who is on standby at the National Assembly for us. Mogyeon, how are candidates and their respective parties handling the pressure so far? Daniel, all parties have been in their respective situation rooms watching the results of the elections um, together from 6 p.m. The atmosphere certainly changed after the results started coming out. Um, when 6 o'clock came around, the results of the exit polls were released. Lawmakers from the Democratic Party of Korea were applauding and cheering. They're on course to win 14 of the 17 leadership posts, that is, governor or mayor of provinces in major cities. Party chair Chu Mie, along with floor leader Hong Young Pyo, were smiling and gave a thumbs up as, as those numbers came out. But it was a different scene in the situation room of the main opposition Liberty Korea Party. Quiet and subdued after they appeared to be winning only two of the 17 posts. Chairman Hong Jun Pyo was seen sighing and looking rather disappointed. Hong, in fact, had promised to resign from his post as, as party leader if they failed to win at least six of the seats. The minor opposition Padan Mita party seemed to be in shock after the exit polls showed their candidate for Seoul mayor finishing third and none of their other mayoral or gubernatorial candidates likely to win. But there's still room for change since the exit polls are not 100 percent accurate and they do not include the results of the early votes cast last week. We should be getting a picture of the actual results at a little past 10 p.m. Korea time and the final numbers, including the by-election results, are expected to come out after midnight. Daniel, 